Hi, I'm Alan, a product manager at Lightpoint. Today I'm showing the Bluetooth Advanced Measurement System, which consists of three major components. The IQXL M tester with Bluetooth licenses, the IQFact Plus test application, and an RF enclosure. For today's demonstration, the RF enclosure has an integrated coupler, and you can get these from a variety of different vendors. There's almost no setup required. You simply install the software and connect a single RF cable. Once the system is set up, performing RF measurements is fast and easy. Before we run the test, let's take a closer look at the application setup. This is our application software called IQFact Plus. It is a test manager that allows you to easily configure test flows and set pass-fail limits. In this area, we set up the test flow, which is very simple for Bluetooth smart devices. In this flow, we run a single test that performs both TX and RX measurements. In this area, we configure the test parameters for things like number of packets, path losses, receiver power level, and the RF input port. Okay, let's test our first Bluetooth device. This is a popular fitness device that uses Bluetooth low energy. This RF enclosure has an integrated coupler, so I simply place the device in the enclosure and execute the application. The test will run and perform a variety of verifications against pass-fail criteria that I defined. In this test, we're performing both transmitter and receiver measurements on all three of the Bluetooth smart advertising channels. This takes just a few seconds and gives you high confidence the device is working properly. The application will indicate if the device passed or failed and automatically logs the results in easy to use .csv or text file. Let's take a closer look at the results we can generate. In this result file, we see key RF parametric results for transmitter and receiver. Results are reported for all three advertising channels. We see packet error rate, for this device was 0%. We see delta F1, delta F2, and frequency drift, which are Bluetooth SIG defined measurements for transmitter quality. Finally, we see TX power. This is reported as min, max, and average for all three channels. A key benefit of over-the-air testing is that configuration and setup is similar for all devices. Running a second device is easy. As an example, here I have an asset tracker. I'm using the same test setup and I simply place the device in the RF chamber and start the new measurement. The setup will perform the same measurements and provide a new pass-fail indication. Thank you for your interest in Lightpoint's new Bluetooth Advanced test system.